Hey, what's up everybody? It's Guy and Kicks here with another review and in today's video guys I can't wait to talk to you guys about these sneakers, man. These are so fire These are one of my grail sneakers that I recently picked up in the last couple of months But not only are these my grail sneakers, but these are gonna be my Halloween sneakers for a very long time So with that being said, let's jump into it. Let me show you how these look and let's talk about them Right, guys so before i start i just want to give a shout out to jr blanco i'll leave his instagram link below so you guys can check out his page he was the one that hit me up through instagram asked me if i was interested in these you know i couldn't believe it at first because you know with the price the resale price on these is pretty high never spent that much money on a pair of sneakers so when he hit me up and he asked me if i was interested in these and the price that he you know accepted i was just like man that's just like an offer i can't refuse and when i got these in hand man shout outs to him man when he told me he you know only wore them a handful of times you know he really was in line i mean these shoes were in such great shape so again thank you for hitting me up for that so getting into the shoes guys these originally released back in 2018 it was around late 2018 i believe and this was the first colorway to drop then there was another colorway and the mostly gray color that dropped the following year. I believe it was around the summer of 2019. And they originally retail for $190. Obviously these are 990 V3, so they are made in the USA. So this collaboration is between New Balance and Stray Rats. Stray Rats is a retail shop or retail store out of Miami, Florida. The founder is Julian Consuegra. If you never heard of Stray Rats, definitely check them out. They also have different collaboration with other brands. They've also worked with New Balance in the past as well. Last year they dropped those 574s. I'll leave a link here so you guys can check that video out. Check them out on Instagram, cool brand for sure. So 2021 has been a great year for the 990v3, so it's kind of ideal that I get to pick this grail this year. There's been a lot of 990v3s that have dropped this year, a lot of dope collaborations as well. And here I have another one to the collection that I'm so happy to have. So jumping into the materials, the upper has primarily that pig suede overlay. You do have the mesh material underneath the suede, you know, typical 990 V3 fashion. On the upper, you also have 3M hits on both the end logos on the lateral and medial side. You also have a little bit of strip on the toe box area. And then on the heel part of the shoe, Around the heel collar, you do have some perforated 3M material as well. On the upper, you also have some TPU materials around the eyelids and also on the heel stabilizer of the shoe. On the inside of these 990 V3s, the sock lining is in this nice soft material. The insoles on these 990 V3s are super dope. You have the Joker's face on both left and right insole. However, the left one is reversed. The uh, branding information is on the heel part of the insole and then on the right, and so you then have the Joker's face. The insole is in the purple color, and then you have Joker's hair in that green color, and then you can see a little bit of his collar of his shirt, which is also in the green color. Moving over to the tongue of these 990 V3s, as usual, they have that classic 990 V3 tongue, which has that diamond-shaped design. You also have the uh, New Balance name and the USA underneath that in this like metallic color. As you can see here, I have the orange laces, but they also come with another set of black laces as well. Me personally, I love these orange laces, so I don't really need those black ones at all because I will never switch them to the black ones. I'm sticking with these orange colors, definitely the one to go with. In terms of the colorway on these 990 V3s, I already mentioned the orange laces. You do have that mostly black tongue. On both lateral and medial sides, the mid panels have that green color. The mesh material on this is in the black color. The mud guard is also in that black color. You do have some suede overlays around the toe box area that's in that purple color. The 3M N logos on both lateral and medial side are in a darker gray color. On the lateral side towards the heel part of the shoe, the heel counter is in that purple color. You do have that 990 printed in that metallic silver color. You also have a little bit of that purple suede around the heel collar of the shoe as well. On the heel part of the shoe where you find that perforated 3M, you have that Made in USA printed in that nice 
font design. And then on the heel counter, you have that SR-86. You know, the SR is for Stray Rats. 86, I'm not sure what that means. If you guys know, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what the 86 is for, because I was assuming that was the year that Julian Consuegra was born, but I don't think he's that old. So let me know in the comments below what the 86 is for. One of my favorite details of this colorway is that when you see the colors from the top here, from the laces to the side panels and things like that, it definitely resembles the Joker's outfit, right? You know, because the orange color can be maybe an orange orange tie or maybe an orange shirt and then the side panels this green color you know represents his green vest and then the purple represents the suit right so it's like that three-piece combination that the joker always wears and they definitely you know pointed that out here with the colors switching over to the midsole in terms of cushioning the 990 v3 uses absorb and it also uses end cap which is a soft cushioning of EVA in the midsole with a tough polyurethane rim for more support and durability. Another cool detail about this midsole is that, as you can see here, it is a two-tone midsole. You have a darker gray and then the black color, but then you have this speckled black paint around the midsole of the shoe. You know, you probably won't be able to spot this from afar, but up close, you know, that speckled paint definitely gives it a nice look for sure. And then on the outsole, you have a mostly black outsole. You have the New Balance name around the heel part of the shoe endurance outsole you have that classic carbon fiber plate there in the middle of the shoe and then you have that diamond shaped design around the forefoot of the shoe the shoes came in the classic made in usa box and here you have the official tag in sku so when it comes to sizing with the 990 v3s i've always gone a half size down i mostly buy my sneakers a size 10 made in usa sneakers though i usually go a half size down so for me nine and a half is the way to go so for you guys, I suggest you go with a half size down. When it comes to comfort, the 990 V3 is one of my most comfortable New Balance sneakers that I own today. You know, it's one of those that it's up there. You know, I try to compare, you know, different silhouettes, different models, and the 990 V3, man, it definitely stays up there. I love wearing my 990 V3s. Any colorway that I have, it's just a dope silhouette. They definitely did a good job in that midsole. So when it comes to comfort, spot on nice balance between firmness and softness. So if you never own a pair of 990 V3s, I highly suggest you do so and they won't disappoint. All right guys, so my overall take on this New Balance and Stray Rats collaboration, and man, shout outs to Stray Rats. They definitely killed it here with this collaboration. This colorway is so freaking clean. Man, I just can't get enough of it. I, I was so excited when I was gonna review these sneakers for you guys. It's been a while, I mean, I've had them for like, I don't know, maybe a month now, or something like that but I just didn't get a chance to get to them. I had other sneakers I just wanted to get out there before these, and it just was like a perfect timing. You know, Halloween is this Sunday, so I figured, you know what, I, for this week, I gotta review these, you know, because like I said already, these will be a dope sneaker to wear during Halloween as well. You know, when it comes to the 990 V3, guys, there's not really much to complain about. You know, the suede here is spot on, the comfort here is great. And then you mix that with a DC comic collaboration and you have the Joker themed colors on these. Like, come on, man, it's like a perfect combination. You know, for these sneakers to be about three years old, the suede here is still pretty good. You know, these are pre-owned, like I've said already. You know, the guy who had these before me definitely kept these clean, definitely maintained them. You know, the suede here is just so, so good. Never disappoint. Made in USA, New Balances. I mean, come on. You know, you already know the quality is going to be great. You know, when it comes to the construction on these 990 V3s, you know, there's a little bit of glue stains here and there, some strings sticking out, but nothing too serious, nothing to worry about. You know, everything is pretty tight with the upper and the midsole. You don't see any gaps or anything like that. You don't see any like glue residues between the suede and the midsole on these shoes. Definitely spot on when it comes to the construction. So overall guys, I know on the resale market, these are super expensive. And even on StockX, I checked earlier today for like a nine and a half, I believe they had one left. So, you know, there aren't that many people that are probably gonna put these up for sale. Uh, but if you ever get them, if you ever decide to, you know, go for them, once you have them, you won't be disappointed. You're gonna love these a lot. And it's probably gonna be one of your favorite New Balance sneakers that you've ever owned. So with that being said, the best part is here. Let me lace these up and show you guys how they look on feet.
right guys, so that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the New Balance 990 V3 and Stray Rats collaboration in this Joker themed colorway. Let me know in the comments below what the 86 means on the heel part of the shoe. And also let me know if you prefer this mostly black colorway or you like the gray one more. And like always guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you like this content, if you like the video, hit that like button, definitely helps the channel grow. Also hit that subscribe button as well. I'll leave a link to my Instagram page where you guys can go follow me there and I'll start posting some pictures of these on feet so you guys can see a closer look. So that's it guys, catch you guys in the next one. See ya.